Hey dudes, well, it's getting late in the month, and I realized um, I don't really have an amp for Profile Crate this month yet, uh, or for next month, rather. Uh, I always have like a backup amp or two in case I don't find something that really piques my interest. And I have a backup, but I'm not like so in love with it that I feel like doing it right now. And I'm trying to get my hands on a JC120. Uh, and depending on when I put this video out, the JC120 either already came out uh, or I'm still trying to get my hands on one. So let's go in here and see if they got anything cool. Last time I was in here, I found a Supro uh, Black Magic at a great price, which was awesome. And I also found that modded Marshall JMP, which I, uh, which we put out on Profile Crate. So. Um, let's go see what these dudes have. What the heck is that? It's a Taylor bass. We gotta try that. These are pretty cool. I mean, for the money, what a cool instrument. Um, I don't see a tag, but I don't know. I'm guessing these things are a couple hundred and five, six hundred bucks or something. Um, wow, this is cool. This is really, it's really fun to play and it's crazy how good it sounds. Okay, well, uh, I didn't, nah, there wasn't anything that really piqued my interest. There was a Fuchs in there that was kind of cool. There was some other stuff. Um, for a minute, I started entertaining the idea of profiling a boss katana, and then I just knew it was time to leave. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there was some okay stuff. I mean, I thought about that EVH with the EL34s. There's a lot of EVH uh, stuff out there, but I don't really see a ton with the EL34, so that could be interesting. That's sounding like a better choice as I'm talking about it, uh, even though I didn't buy it. And uh, hey, that's okay though. Uh, it'll probably be here if I wanna come back. But I think um, I'm gonna go check out some other stores. I'm gonna check out another guitar center that's not too far from me. It's about 20 minutes away. And so let's do that. Let's, um, let's do that, yeah. I'm proud of myself for not spending any money because I kind of really wanted that little bass and, uh, but then I started thinking, HW, what are you gonna do with that? Other than like play it for a couple hours today, maybe a little bit more this week, and then you're just gonna tell your friends how cool it is. You'll talk about it on the podcast, and then it'll sit like with n nobody will touch it for weeks, months at a time. All right, let's go to Guitar Center, the other Guitar Center. Okay, so we're here at the uh, the other guitar center, 20 minutes away, and um, it's gonna be cool. Let's go see what they got. See this, this thing has been blocking one amp all day, and it's the amp I'm most interested in. Bad Cat Luca. Isn't this what uh, Jeff Kundi uses? Yes. I think we're gonna get this. Okay, leaving GC and found some really cool stuff. Check this out. Uh, in the back of my car, we got Bad Cat Luca which people have been requesting more bad cats. And so I got this and there's another bad cat that a buddy of mine has that I'm gonna try and get. So there is some bad cat stuff coming up. And then this is gonna be the profile crate amp, I think. Yeah, it's the Friedman uh, Pink Taco 50. And um, it's a single channel, dual EL84, their take on a Marshall. So, um, dude, this was a good trip to Guitar Center. And one of the guys knew who I was. He was like, hey, you're uh, the Tone Junkie guy. <laughs> and I am. So. Uh, Anyway, all right, it's about to rain, so I'm gonna get back to uh, Casa de Tone Junkie and um, 
yeah, I'm gonna profile these amps this Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the Bad Cat actually. I don't know if I'll have time because I got um, other stuff in line first. But I'll hang on to the Bad Cat and get to know it for a while. But the Pink Taco, I got to get done pronto so we have it ready uh, for July. Uh, July's profile crate. Um, and man, let me just say, I'm not phoning in these amps on profile crate. I don't know if you've noticed. But I'm out there searching for unique amps because to me it's like Profile Crate, it's free so people will try it out. So for me it's like it's the opportunity to grab some amps that people may not think are, are cool at first or that are just really cool, you know what I mean? Like I feel like if I was going to, if my goal was to sell profiles, I maybe wouldn't grab the Pink Taco. I'd grab like a larger Friedman. But the Pink Taco's got it, it's probably is really cool tonality. So why not do it? And Profile Crate lets you do that. So um, if you're not signed up for ProfileCrate.com, dude, you got to do that. Like it's free, free monthly profiles delivered to your email. Um, uh, hey, the only catch is sometimes I tell you about Tone Junkie stuff that comes out, uh, you know, during the month. So if you don't want to buy that stuff, no problem. And there's a ton of free samples in there. You got to check out ProfileCrate.com. Monthly free subscription service from Tone Junkie. Are you kidding me? Come on. And there's killer amps in there, man. There's killer amps.